Hi there, in this video I'm going to showcase how the merge duplicate task works in Asana to the best of my ability. Um, there is the ability in Asana for us to take two tasks and merge them together into one. And sometimes we have to do this uh, because, you know, two or more people have maybe created the same task um, without the other knowing. For instance, maybe there is a team meeting and in the meeting someone says, hey, we need to go ahead and compile the data from that survey. And two or three people in the room are like, oh, I, I should do that or uh, I'll assign so-and-so to do that. And then during the meeting, maybe they would create that task more than once. And so um, once we find out that that's happened, then uh, ideally we would take those tasks and either remove or delete one of them or merge them together. And there are some use cases where it would make sense to merge the tasks together, other use cases where you would probably just want to go ahead and delete one of the tasks. Uh, but in this video, what I want to talk with you about is how Asana treats the merging of those duplicate tasks. So I have three tasks here. Uh, one task is the um, send survey task. That's my original task, and then we're not going to duplicate that one. But then we'll see compile data from the survey and gather and collate data from the survey. So these two tasks here uh, are, are the same task. They just have different names. I'm going to very quickly, while they, we do this, I'm going to go ahead and unblock this one. And I'm going to make the gather and collate data dependent on the send survey task. So we see we have one task here, the compiled data from survey. These are both the same task, but this one has uh, six subtasks, okay? Uh, six subtasks, we can see we called them CD for compiled data, and it has a description, compiled data description. It's a specific description for this task. I can see that there's a status that says ready to start, but um, whoever created this task did not add a department, so it's empty. Um, the other thing that we can see in this task, compiled data at the very bottom, is that there was a comment on this task. So the other task that was created uh, is very similar. Uh, it's got different terminology, gather and collate instead of uh, compile. Uh, it was assigned to a different person and has a different due date. Uh, the task status on this one is not started, and actually it was assigned to the human resource department. So the custom fields are different here. And then we can see that there are actually four subtasks here. I just did GD for gather data, so we can see the difference between the CD, compile data, and the gather data. Uh, so there's four tasks, subtasks here, and it has its own description as well. And then at the very bottom, we can see that there is a comment that was sent out um, from the gather collate data task. So ideally, you would think that if we're going to merge tasks, then everything is going to get merged. Uh, like this description. Is that going to merge up into the dis this description so that there's two descriptions? Uh, what about the comments? Will the comments all merge? What about the custom fields, etc.? So what we're going to do is just kind of understand what Asana is and is not going to do. The last thing I'll mention here is we do have this dependency, and the dependency basically says we can't gather and collate the data until we have sent that survey. So we have a little bit of a, um, a, a dependency there to make sure that task is done. This task, this compiled data, does not have any dependencies. Uh, so it's just created a little bit differently. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and merge this task into this task. When we do so, Asana is going to do a few things. First of all, Asana is going to mark this task as complete. It's going to create a note that says this task has now been merged into this task. This will become the parent task or the primary task for the data that it will merge. What will it merge? Well, first of all, Anything date, if the date has already been set, so December 5th right here, then this December 6th will just go away. The December 5th will remain. In other words, the, the task that we're merging into is the task where Asana is going to keep most of the data. So the due date will remain the same, the assignee will re remain the same, uh, the description will remain the same, and the comments will remain the same. Now what that means though is any of the those in, of that information and the task that we're going to merge from will go away. So the assignee, the due date, uh, even the data in the uh, custom fields, that will no longer be relevant or applicable. Uh, the, the description is going to go away and any comments that we have is going to go away as well. And you will note, even though the task we're going to merge um, away from uh, has a custom field, that will not merge into the new custom field. All right, so um, 
to illustrate this, oh, and then the final thing I should probably mention is that dependency, that will merge. So that dependency is going to move up into the task we're going to merge into. And then these tasks here, these GD tasks, they will also merge and add to these tasks. So instead of six tasks here, we're actually going to end up with 10. All right, let's go ahead and facilitate the merge and see if everything is going to happen the way I've described it. So I've gone into the gather and collate data, the task I want to go away, and I'm gonna click on the little three dot ellipsis. We're gonna say merge duplicate task, and we're gonna merge that into the compiled data from survey. We can see now this task is now closed and has been merged. Uh, so we still have reference to it. It's kind of like marked as complete. If I filter by incomplete task, it goes away, but I can always uh, pop it back here if I need to see it as a reference. So it's not gone unless I delete it. But now if we go into this compiled data, first of all, we can see that we retained um, the assignee and the due date. We now have a dependency that you know we pulled up from that original task. Um, the department did not move up, so we would have to make that change manually. Um, and then the description remains as the same description. Now we have 10 subtasks. These four tasks were appended onto the subtasks. So if they were repeats, of course, we would need to delete them. And of course, the comment remains as the comment that was original to this task. We lost the comment that was in the, in the previous task. All right, so that describes and explains, I think, hopefully in detail, how the um, merge task option works in Asana. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, thanks so much for watching.